Hello. Before the video begins, I just want to clarify half the video, like the first half, was filmed a while ago. So it's a little bit all over the place. Like this was probably filmed like a couple months ago. Then the end half, I look like this. So it's like now, today, when this video goes up. So I've tried to piece it together with the footage and stuff I found on my memory card. But if it seems a little like jumpy or you won't even notice and you literally don't give a shit. <laughs> you just want to watch the video. So enjoy. Right, good morning everybody. Um, I am trying to mentally prepare myself because we've got another day of transforming one of the rooms in the house. That room is about to be the office because to be fair it's about time that I had a space to work in that was separate from the rest of the house. Right now it is looking very different. I don't know if you can tell but everything around me is like real white. We took the wallpaper off here, ready for us to do something with that. The wall's already white which makes our life 10 times easier because that's the colour I'm going for. I want like a really minimal type of vibe. Here I have the day ladies and gents is this wall here that had the wallpaper on. We're going to paint it white and then what we're going to do is we're going to do palin in with. We went to B&Q the other day and got a load of these. Um, like the wood palin ins pal pal They had a couple of different designs and stuff, but it's kind of higher on one side than the other, and it's kind of ribbed as well to have like a design. Main thing with panel in though is that it's more just time consuming because you've got to work out like the math for it. I want like three long rectangles, then a line, and then the three smaller ones at the bottom. Jake is of course going to do a lot of it as well because he kind of knows what he's doing in the respect of it. Don't give me a saw, basically. I will saw off my hand. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I drilled off my finger yesterday. I mean a bit dramatic, but um, that was with a drill. I sliced my finger open with a drill. A drill! I ordered a desk as well that arrived, was it yesterday? Day before? A pampasy type moment is going to be happening. This beautiful girl dropped off and it's just... Task number one though is to go and have a bacon sandwich because Jake is definitely making them. It's so big as my head. First stop is B&Q because we need to go get a saw and we also need to get a saw that and... Brushes. Yeah, and paint brushes. I need to put some fucking fuel in my car. And you need to put some fuel in your car. It's so typical that we need to go to B&Q though because we actually went yesterday as well. So we could have got it then but we only have just realised that we need... We'll just go Wix, I think. Wix? Yeah. Or maybe Wix. To be fair, the Wix new actually, house is quite big. Actually, do you want big. to look on Screw quickly? Screw Fix? Yeah, and just see... Because then we can just go in there. Because you know it was easy yesterday, wasn't it? Let me see. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Alright, the painting begins, guys. Try and get the base layer so we know what we're working with. Um, I'm going to do the cutting in bits and Jake's going to do the actual like rollering. That way we get as much done as we possibly can. Because I reckon it's going to need like two or three coats at least. <laughs> Let's get it. Two busy roller Two, three, six across. Pretty even more, pretty square, isn't it? Lovely. Okay, so our next step is to map out the wall in terms of how long it is, where we want the panels to be. So Jake's just measured how long the wall is and how tall the wall is. This here, this is the like line that goes across the top and then we have the rectangles on top and on the bottom. By doing this, you're able to actually see the measurements and get everything as even as possible, right? We'll draw on the other rectangles and stuff in a second. We just need to work out what gaps that we want because obviously it's customizable, like depends how big you want them. But the paint's looking pretty good at the moment. I did have to take over though, didn't I Jake? I did, I appreciate it. <laughs> this is the part that I think is going to take a little while because you need to get like the logistics of it, making sure that everything's even and straight, right? Yeah. Should we cut this in the meantime? What, cut the panel in? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, what's this for? The, the middle one? The middle one. The one, the line that goes straight across? Yeah, so hold that in there, babe. How much do you have to take off? It's four centimetres. Oh, tiny. Oh my god, are you ready? God. Jake. <laughs> This one just going straight across, so this doesn't have to have the 45 degree cut. This literally just has to have a straight cut. And this is what you're going to need, by the way, for it. This really helps, doesn't it, Jake? What's the yeah. called? A mitre. A mitre block. So these allow you to basically be able to put your saw in at this angle or straight. That way you can get proper defined cuts. Obviously, for panning it in, especially for the rectangles, you want 45 degrees. This one you don't, because this one's just going straight across. This can be straight. Right, I thought I would show you what we're using to do all the panning in, just in case you guys want to do it. This is the type of stuff that you'll need. No more nails. This is what we are using to stick the 
actual wood to the wall. Pretty sure there are some other bits that you can use, but this is what we're using. We've got the decorator's cork, I think that's called. This is what we're using at the end to basically finish all the edges and make the panel look like it's properly like on the wall. We've also got the wood primer and undercoat to prime the wood before painting it. Um, and then obviously you need white paint. Just seeing myself, I literally have paint all in my hair. This is just a case of lining up now. Yeah, this is the last piece on this one, so. One rectangle done. Only um, five more to go. <laughs> Looks good though. I'm not gonna trip yet. I'm gassed that we've done this ourselves. Bearing in mind, neither of us have done this before. Yeah. And we, we've worked it out. Stop. Now, I'm not gonna speak too soon because I'm a touch wood that this <laughs> shit works out. Yeah. You're right. Yeah? Yeah. I need to know what I'm doing. Okay, the paneling is done, thank God. Good morning everyone, it is a new day and we are on to the kind of finishing bits of this, like the painting and stuff. Although this morning I did finish kind of corking all the edges so you can see all of these bits are now filled. Um, so there's no sort of like gaps anymore. When the paint and stuff goes over there, it'd be absolutely fine. What I'm doing now though is adding the undercoat to the weather well, primer to the paint. I'm using this one here in case anybody is interested. The Valspar wood primer and undercoat. And I got the white color. Almost adds a base layer. So I should only have to do maybe one coat of paint. Um, that's what it looks like. So you can kind of see the difference between the two there. I'm just slapping on though. I don't think it really matters too much because it's just a primer. All that it does is it preps the wood so that when you paint on top of it, it doesn't crack or split. Just just a base coat. It's like makeup. You know, you put the primer on. This is a bit of like a ugh, tedious thing because to be honest, you got to add all the primer to all the bits um, once you've done all the edges and stuff. But if I step back, it's going to look cool. I feel like this is one of those things, right? In the beginning, you're really delicate because I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of just like going slow and like taking my time with it. And then you realize, actually, I don't always need to do that. And you get quicker as you go along. So I say it's time consuming, I mean it is, but I have the outcome in mind and I'm like, this is gonna look sick. So I'm just going for it. <laughs> That wall is done. The mission is complete. I ended up doing three coats on those. Panels. Current status, I am building the desk for this room. I don't want to show you too much though. All this I have to do is really build furniture, do any decor. I don't know whether I want to like hang some things up. I do have some things here. There might be the odd thing or two that I want to include in here in the next few days. I need to get ordering, but I might even say that the next clip is going to be the like reveal of the room because in terms of everything else it's done. Listen, I'll see you when the room is hopefully complete and beautiful. The last clip you just watched, to be honest, I don't really remember when I filmed that. Like, this is the here and the now. <laughs> Keeping it real with you, the office has been done for a little- Is that trippy thing, two of me? I need to- Yeah. <laughs> In terms of, like, the actual, I guess, proper decorating, like, the painting, stuff like that, that's been done for a while. It's the small decorative bits and, like, little bits here and there for the aesthetic that I've been trying to, like, get together. Dude, we shouldn't have taken this long to film this. Oh, I need to sort my shit out, really, don't I? <laughs> but we finally have a office for real, guys. So, who's ready to see? She's pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my new office space. with this space now like so much. I'm gonna put in a before and after so you can really see the transformation of this room. So it went from like a little sort of snug sofa type area with that tropical wallpaper. It was a really cute room to be fair, but I've transformed it into my aesthetic, the more sort of nude neutral appearance, filled it with moments and memories in my career as motivation and just made this a nice, simple, minimalistic workable place, which is so my aesthetic. I feel like for an office, I need it to be like that. I wanna wake up in the morning and feel myself with good vibes. You know what I mean? I feel like this is gonna help give me the right kind of energy. It's fucking sick, I love it. I'm chuffed with this. With the help of Jake and my mum, we brought this room to life. I look forward to waking up and coming into this space and doing emails, editing, everything. 
Right, so let's get into this. Of course, I'm gonna go around and tell you where everything's from. I mean, normally it would be in the style of the walk-in wardrobe where someone is holding the camera and kind of walking around with me, but it's just got me today. So as you walk in on the right-hand side, I wanted to fill this space with like motivation, something that I'm inspired by, a moment in my career that I've achieved that I was like fucking mad. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? Like you, that you can look at every single morning and be like, this is one of the many reasons why I do what I do. Um, so I have done a picture wall on here, nine frames filled with memorable pictures. So I have gone for, of course, my misguided collaboration. This is the edit. I was gonna do my range that I did with them back in what, 2019? Oh my God, was it that long ago? Shut the... F That's mad. But I wanted more recent pictures, like, cause I morph into different people like five times a year. <laughs> the edit, I have my short black hair and it's just very updated in me. However, maybe, maybe they'll get changed soon. Like, if something happens, you know what I mean? I don't know, man, you just, you never know. I love these frames, by the way. They are from, I think they're from the range, yeah. This lighter sort of neutral colored wood with the white frame around it obviously works in here perfectly. And all that I did was I command strip them onto the wall. Command strips for stuff like this is sick, by the way, because I didn't want to put like a million nails in the wall. I'm missing decisive, so you never know one day I might change this. So I didn't want to like ruin the wall. <laughs> is this in the way? There you go. Oh, no. Oh, bitch. There we go. 100% one of my favorite things about this office. And honestly, right now, even just about the house, like I was saying to Jake, it's nice to have personal touches in the house. And to me, this is so like personal. Really makes it feel like your space. And it's just quite like comforting. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm just going so deep into this. You don't really give a shit. It's a nine picture wall. And the frames are from the range, okay? <laughs> Moving on from this, we then have the main feature wall. So the panel in. Look how sick. The pan in it looks, by the way. I have a bit of texture on that back wall, which is amazing. But before I tell you about the desk and stuff, I need to tell you about this beauty. How fab is this pampas cloud? I'm obsessed. The lady who did this for me is an absolute gem. I'm gonna put her out on screen. She came and dropped this round. Like, oh my God, it must've been like a couple months ago now, honestly. Oh. She makes things like this and they are beautiful. They're so like, delicate and intricate. Mine is hanging just by like fishing wire, by the way, like a clear wire. So obviously you get no sort of obvious hanging line. And it does have a command hook at the top. You can see that i've hung it just kind of like off center of the desk and i think it's amazing honestly this is beautiful then we of course have the desk itself i'll show you the front and the close-ups and that but the desk is from i think it was from wayfair i'll link it below anyway and i feel like it's the perfect size for in here i didn't want anything too big and overwhelming to the point where it almost overtook it's not the biggest room in the world so i just wanted it to be practical somewhere to be able to put my computer has cute little drawers and stuff for storage um, but yeah, love it. This area's just got my Mac and stuff editing and also my mic as well just stays here. Then I have all the cute little stationery bits and pieces. So I just have my like monthly planner, things to do today list and my blue light lenses, which by the way, these are from Key. I feel like I get questions about these glasses. They're from Key. My monthly planner, which you might have seen in my Primark haul, eventually <laughs> will be filled with all my work stuff, like schedules, dates. If I have sponsorships when they go live or if I've got a shoot that day, whatever, anything worky will go in here. Then I have this things to do today planner, which is like a cute like nude marble print. I love this because this is almost like a checklist inside. I want to say that that's from the range as well, I believe. If not the range or no. I think it might have been home bargains. Either way, it'll be down below. Cute little coasters. These are from the range as well. Just, of course, cute little Standard. Then I have this cute little acrylic pot, which I got from the range, and it's just full of all pens and stuff, stationery stuff, obviously, for the diaries. She's cute. I've just got, like, look, I've got, like, little pastel colours and shit. Look. These two little bits are more for decoration purposes. So this is actually a little date thing. That says the 20th of May. A bitch, it ain't the 20th of May. <laughs> this was from the range too, and that just kind of chills here. I will try to update that often. And then I've got this at sign, which again was from the range as well, obviously. Social media at, and a cute little candle from Maker Revolution as well. Um, but that's like the main thing of the desk. It's simple, but useful. Oh, and this chair, this is from Ikea ages ago. It spins and it can actually go higher as well or lower, which is fab. I actually bought this back when I lived with my parents, but it's probably still available either way. Next corner, in this little corner here, I of course had to hang up my YouTube plaques somewhere, right? It kind of made sense. <laughs> these shelves, by the way, these are from Primark. I only got them the other day, so they'll definitely be in stock, but they had them in this color and also white as well. Because the walls are white, I went for the, the light wood color, and obviously that's sort of what I've gone for in here as well. So they work perfectly, and they are the perfect length for my YouTube plaques. I don't know why, I was finding it so hard to find shelves like this, floating shelves that were either long enough or strong enough 
like for some reason I was going through Amazon and they B, I ordered like acrylic, these little acrylic shells, I didn't even know they were acrylic and they came and they literally hold like 11 pounds and these are like more, <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> Oh, it was just a disaster, but Primark came through. This cute little vase here, this is from Dunnell, and they have some amazing home bits, by the way. And then these are just, I need to fill this more, to be honest. I've actually stole these from a vase in the kitchen. I think I got these sent through from Silhouette Vases on Instagram. I need to get some more to put in there, really, don't I? Um, and then, yeah, just my two YouTube plaques. And then this lamp here. I love this lamp. Do you know what it reminds me of? The Pixar light. It's huge. I don't know if you can tell. Like, this is me, like, stood next to it. It's literally huge. And then the base of it just looks like that this is like a little like clipper on and off switch the lights from the range as well by the way final corner now is this little space here which to be honest i just made this to almost be like i don't know say if jake comes in from work and he wants to sit down and like, have a chat with me this is kind of what this is this chair you may recognize from my misguided edit this is why i used to do all like the posing on this is from h&m home by the way this chair is so sexy honestly the rattan with the black really low but it's so comfortable. Then we got this set of drawers here, which was from the range. Again, the color, the aesthetic and everything just matches in perfectly. This just holds like paperwork, to be honest. Cool adult shit, basically. Cool, but not so cool. <laughs> Whether it's like to do with like my work or the house, whatever, that's just chilling in there. This lamp, I wish I could tell you where this lamp was from, but it came with the house. It was in this room originally. Let me check underneath. Let me see if it gives me a plan. Don't Elm! Oh my god, it's from Denelm! There you go. This is just a random diffuser here, by the way. And then I've got this clock on the wall. Super handy, obviously, for the time. Um, but I feel like it fills the space perfectly as well. That's from the range, too. Everything is from the range. I went on, like, a bit of a spree. Final little decoration bits, in case you're wondering where them from, are just sort of little bits on the windowsill and bits like that, so... I don't think this is officially complete yet. I feel like I need some, like, flowers or something in this vase here. But either way, these candlesticks are from the range. Again, I feel like I actually do need some candles on them. This tray here is from B&M. And then this, which looks looks like it matches it's from Primark reason why these are on here is because they actually match with the aesthetic of the chair like perfectly <laughs> this little vase here this is from Primark as well and then this body candle I believe her at on Instagram is essential um she does some amazing body candles by the way so check her out final thing when you walk in you might have seen these three sets of storage boxes here so these come as a three pack these are from Dunelm this by the way this little angel this is from Home Bargains I'm pretty sure and she just fits on top of there. But in these, I've literally just kept work bits. This really isn't that fun, guys, honestly. But look, we've got wire. This is all organized, by the way. That looks like a hot mess. But HDMI cables, anything like that. And then I think the bottom one. Yeah, this is just my other cameras. Oh, my God. Who remembers this? She's beat. Look, it's covered in makeup. This is my first camera I ever used on YouTube. EOS 750D. I use the original lens and everything with it. Um, I keep it as well just for like a backup in case any of mine decide to go. But look how beat this is. She needs like a good clean. Electrical corner, basically. Just so everything... I know where everything is and it's organized. And that, you guys, is my new office. Yeah. What do you guys think? Are you vibing with it? Do you like it? Are you into it? I hope you enjoyed this, by the way. I know, like, an office video might not be at the top of your list to watch, but it's some sort of house transformation, and there are some really nice, like, home bits in here, just in general. You don't have to have, you know, like, a picture wall in your office, or the pampas cloud in your office, or the desk, or anything. This is just what I have. You could have them in any room, right? But same with the paneling and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Maybe it gave you home inspo one day, or if you're moving house, I'm gonna go do some work. Like, I'll be happy to do work in here. <laughs> Stay cool, you guys. I love you.